What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Last time, we did some logic chess with... Justine! Oh god, if I, I blanked. I almost said Patricia. And we discovered that John Marsh, the child actor, is actually the son of her, and he's been kidnapped. It, unless she can declare a guilty or uh, uh, non-guilty verdict for Patricia Rowland. Miss Courtney, why don't you let us take care of it? I'm gonna go steal John back for you. As the second Yadagarasu I.K. Faraday give you my word. So, the great thief Yadagarasu plans to steal the truth, huh? What say you, Judge? Will you place your trust in our young great thief who's never stolen anything? Edgeworth. And if it's alright with you, I wish to help as well. Thanks! I know that it's really not my place to ask this of you. But please, do whatever you can. Yep, just leave everything to us. Allow me to leave my cell phone with you. You may get a call from the kidnapper at some point. You have my word. I'll ensure the safe return of your phone along with your son. And I will do whatever in my power to prolong the trial. But even then, at most the trial can only last for about two more hours. Two hours, huh? So until 2 p.m., that's our time frame. I must return to court. Miss Faraday, Edgeworth, I shall leave the rest to you. Ba 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 ba. Okay, I thought you were t uh, taking a break from being the Great Thief. As of right now, the Great Thief Yadagarasu is back in business. Time to put on the glove. Your gloves are always on, girl. And hit the pavement! It's my first request, after all. Is that so? In that case, we better begin our investigation post-haste. If we hope to track down John... Where'd he run off to? He might have just gone back home. That's right, I mean... It doesn't look like they're going to get any filming done today. Or he may have run away. We should probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Tower. Hold it, Mr. Edgeworth. You're not the one in charge anymore! From here on out, this is the job for the Great Thief! Which means I'm the leader now, see? If that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? Edgeworth, you get to be the first ever Great Thief's assistant! Alright, let's get going. The Great Thief Yadagarasu takes flight once again. Here we are, the scene of the crime. Let's get to work. Now say it with me, Mr. Edgeworth. Even in the depths of night. Come on, say the rest with me. And just why should I do that? Because the great thief Yadagarasu has arrived on the scene. If we don't say the introduction, doesn't it feel right? I have no intention of becoming a thief. Fine, I'll do it by myself. Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares save flight. When a lone source to shine the light righteousness on the world's blight. And that was me, for the Great Thief Yadagrasu. Yes, Kay, I know you are. I, on the other hand, am starting the investigation. You're no fun. We don't have time for fun. We only have until two o'clock. We need to begin making inquiries immediately. Good thing we have a photo, so we can go right ahead and start asking around. Who's this guy? Who are you? Powers! Yeah! He's my favorite, dude! Long time no see, Mr. E! Wow, this is- oh, look at that! Oh. Steel Samurai, baby! This is Will Powers. He's an action star I met in a previous case. He also played the role of the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo. It's been a long time. Please, he, he looks like Hugh Jackman, a really big, big Hugh Jackman. I'm Kay Faraday, a great thief. Some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Edgeworth is my assistant. Nice to meet you, but a thief? And Mr. Edgeworth is your assistant? 
Please pay it no heed. More importantly, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case. Okay. I don't know if I'll be much help, though. He's an actor who has been working with John. It may be a bit sudden, but let's hear what he has to say. Ah, it's good to see Powers again. I'd heard that you were handling the investigation for this case, but... Well, that's... I'm not the prosecutor in charge, though. But if you're the assistant, then does this mean that Kay's in charge? No, this is just a simple miss... You got a good eye on you! You're completely right. She just jumped at the chance. Since I'm in charge here, I'd like to answer a few questions both taste, and please be frank. Did anything happen to catch your eye? Ergo, didn't you notice anything? Who is she trying to imitate? Be frank, huh? Well, I feel sorry for the victim, but... I can't help but worry about what will happen with the filming from now on. No, that's only natural. Still, I would think that filming would be difficult now. I knew it. This is bad. We can only use this location for a little while longer, too. Is the filming almost complete, then? No, but construction will begin here soon, so we won't be able to film here anymore. We're only using this vacant lot until construction begins. So the rest of the movie will be filmed at Global Studios. Things aren't looking good. There's even some people spreading bad rumors. Lately, a journalist has been coming by repeatedly saying, This film blows hard in a real bolt style, reckon? There ain't no use hiding it! And stuff like that. I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Yes, it was that photographer from before. You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? Of course not! If there really was one, I'd be out of a job. It seems they're putting a lot of work into this movie. That's because this is our first attempt at making a sequel to an old classic. Global Studios is pouring their heart and soul into this one. I wish they put that much effort into making a new Steel Samurai series. What role are you playing this time, Mr. Powers? I'm playing the Mighty Muzilla. You're the main character! Well, much obliged. Much obligate. I'm wearing a full body costume again, so my face won't be seen this time either. I see. That costume sure is cool, though. I want to try wearing it too. I know. How about next time you let me get in the costume? Maybe just the horn part. That's not really possible. You can't get inside the horns. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm not in the Screen Actors Guild, after all. I don't think that's what he means. I'd like to ask you some questions about John. John? Ah, oh, I heard about it from the girl on staff. How he suddenly vanished from right in front of you guys. That's just like him. Does he do that a lot? I'd say so. During filming breaks, even if you took your eyes off of him for a moment, he'd be gone. Do you have any idea as to where he might have gone? Ah, uh, but... I ran into him as he was leaving the film lot. Really? Where did John go? I saw him get in the trailer, but... When I was checking the equipment, he was gone again. The trailer. There might still be some traces of him left behind. Powers? Could you show us the trailer? Sure thing, it's a bit of a mess right now, though. Let's take him up on his offer and examine the inside of the trailer. Let's go, trailer. Which is right over here. Pieces of film equipment have been placed here. Are you filming today? No, we had to stop filming for today. Since a box has disappeared. Yeah, there was some equipment in that box. I take my eyes off it for a few seconds and look what happens. So there's a thief among us. Exactly what was stolen? Nothing much, actually. Just the box is missing. Why would someone steal a box? Personally, I would have taken the stuff inside. 
They probably want the box more than whatever was was inside. Yeah, dear, I really fucked that sentence. Uh, Jesus Christ. Woo! Not only did I mess up that first sentence, I messed up the sentence describing how I messed up that first sentence. Mm. Did they plan to put something inside the box? But I want to look at the RV. About John's seat. Ah, it's over there where that backpack is sitting. Something is sticking out of the bag. This is a tape? It's a tape for filming. Why does John have one? Did he film something? This might be a clue. Is there any way to check its contents? We have a monitor to look over the footage that was filmed. We can use that. Now then, let's see what's on the tape. This is... It looks like when John was practicing. John was practicing by himself. The monster's footprints can be seen as well, so this must have been recorded last night. He does that sometimes. When he's not happy with his performance, he'll sneak onto the set to practice by himself. Wow, he really is hardworking. He sure is. Although he's young, he's a real pro. Never rests until he's satisfied. Then again, I can't say that I approve of him using the equipment without asking. John is able to operate the equipment all by himself? More or less, if it's just basic filming. What's wrong? Why isn't John on the screen anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. Did he go somewhere while the camera was still recording? The tape ends here. Looks like this was all that was recorded. No one else was on camera except for John. Oh, we've already done this. Gotta skip through as fast as we can. Okay. I guess we'll move on. Wait, aren't these guys with the... Yeah, 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 hold on, what are you doing here? Hey buddy, what's wrong? Your face looks so serious. Have you picked up on any passengers here today? Oh, I sure did, but it was only one group, eh? What'd they look like? It was a pair of men, they were both wearing black. Do you happen to see a small boy with them? Here's a picture of him. Nope, it was just the two guys. I understand. Thanks. I was hoping he would have some more info. Thanks for your hard work, Mr. Edgeworth! I'm not a prosecutor at the moment, but I'll keep quiet about that for now. What are you doing here? I am on guard duty! Then, could you tell me about the cars that have passed through here, today? The only ones that came through here were that taxi and the blue truck. Two different vehicles. Ba -ba -ba -ba. John! Guess he's not here. This basket looks... looked... what? This basket looked pretty? Oh, it's a basket, okay. Oh, looked pretty suspicious to me. Ugh. It certainly does. What's wrong? Why are you touching the truck? The truck's body is cold to the touch. It seems to have been parked here for some time. You can figure all that out by just touching it? Considering the length of time it's been parked here, the driver must not be nearby. I suppose we won't be able to ask them any questions until they return. Parked in front of the Grand Tower today, the driver wasn't inside. It's already half past twelve. I wonder how Miss Courtney and the others are holding up. How long will they be able to prolong the trial? We gotta hurry and find John. Indeed. Oh heck no, that night on Dodo! You heard me.
I ain't gonna catch a scoop like that! Sorry, Chief! What am I always telling you? We're beasts! Scoop eating animals! It's Scoop a Star! No story, no glory! You gotta get fired up! Yes, sir, as expected of my mentor! They're here! It's those noisy reporters! Hey, they came here too! Come on, Mr. Edgeworth! Let's go talk to them! Good grief, if we must! Ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. Let's see what these two are up to! Did Miss Swift call you her mentor just now? She sure did! Nicole's my number one pupil! She says she found love with the photos from my scoops. Even if our jobs are different, our passion for stories is the same, let me tell ya. Ever since then, she's been all cute-like, calling me stuff like Master and Chief. So she fell in love with Miss Hart's photos. I guess you could say, like teacher, like student. She's still got a ways to go and gather information, but her passion's a match for mine. Seems like she was trying to catch the story about Mozilla's appearance. She's been circling around these parts all day long. Maybe she witnessed the kidnapping. Edgeworth, looks like we'll need to hear what she has to say. Indeed. We need more information about John. Let's show Miss Swift that piece of evidence and ask her about him. Now that the black market auctions are over, what are you aiming for next? Ain't it obvious? The mighty Moozilla! I'm going after Moozilla! Who'd have thunk that while I was staking out the black market auction at the Grand Tower, the mighty Moozilla's footprints would show up right next to the tower? Is it really a place that would publish a story like that? Don't treat me like a fool! I got one or two valued clients lined up. Actually, there's a newspaper company here at the Grand Tower. Me and Nicole go there all the time. Well, we always get turned away at the door, but still. I wouldn't exactly call that a valued client. Alright, well, they said I should present something to Nicole. Some sort of evidence. If it ain't Mr. Edgeworth, so we meet again. Miss Swift? Why are you here? You were set up as the suspect for the murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You'll have to submit to police questioning later, and go to jail! You should know that there's still a possibility you may be charged with some crime. For some reason, my question was stopped all of a sudden. After a while, they just let me out and told me I could go home scot-free. Must have been some kind of message saying I need to keep on doing my best out there, I reckon? Well, they did give me a pretty stern warning not to reveal anything about the case. In the official statement released to the public about the assassination attempt, Miss Swift was not involved. That must have been the reason why they let her go. But Mr. Edgeworth, attempting to silence Nicole like this, is like trying to plug a leaky dam with your bare hands. She was quick to say something so harsh. Come on, Edgeworth, you need a thicker hide. That's not very harsh. I quickly put together the full details of everything I knew about the case. Sprinkled in some of my own dramatizations and brought the article into publisher, into a publisher. But for some reason, I haven't gotten any replies yet. Were they pressured to keep quiet or were her dramatizations simply too much? Both are probable, so I'm not sure which is true. What information were you trying to collect here at the Grand Tower? Mr. Edgeworth. You still don't get it, do ya? If you want to ask a reporter a question, you gotta give her something first. You mean, info that can be used in an article? Bingo! Give me some of that info and I'll make for a good article. I totally messed up that sentence. If you ain't got something like that, I guess we won't be talking. I also need some information about John. Let's show her that piece of evidence and try asking her about him. Alright, what? are you looking for here? Practice video? At that moment, the prosecutor presents his evidence of fate he's shining, sh fately shining. Yep, okay, you don't know what that is. Uh, security camera. 
Lotta's testimony? No, no, no. Nope. Maybe the commemorative photo? Miss Swift, I'm sorry, but about this photo. You ain't gotta say it. I know exactly what's going on. What do you mean? You're searching for him, ain't ya? That boy. What? Things are still pretty tough for you, I see. Miles Ashworth, the man of crime, wherever he goes, dead bodies are sure to follow. Or something like that. That's a terrible reputation to have. Who would have thought? This time, there'd be a kidnapping incident. What? How'd you know that? Shh. Could you keep it down a little? This material is top secret. I ain't even told my mentor about it yet. Y'all gotta keep it a secret for me. If she finds out, I'll be a goner. Why do you know? Judge Courtney should have only told us. <laughs> I ain't telling that to anyone. Not even you, Mr. P. It seems this reporter still hasn't learned her lesson. You can give me the stink eye all you want. I still ain't telling. Ba -ba -ba. With that, why don't we end this video here? It's been about 21, 22 minutes, so stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.